Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the SyncWire car phone holder mount. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So on the back, it says features, put in and take out your phone effortlessly with one hand, attached to your car's air vents and dashboard easily and sturdily. Mechanical slide arms are compatible with most phones, featured with shock absorption to protect your phone, best viewpoint enabled by adjustable rotatable ball joint. Here we have a user manual. Here's the suction cup mount. This is a mounting plate. This is the vent mount. And here's the phone holder. So this has a ball and socket arrangement to hold the phone mount to either of these attachments. Let's take a look at the vent one. So this clamps onto the vent in your car. So these generally work with horizontal and vertical vents. They typically don't work with round vents. So this one has sort of a cam lock system. So you can see we have the clamp. You would put this over your vent and then you would lock it down. It looks like maybe there's two different settings here. This closes it to this level. And then when you go like this, it clamps it down all the way. So that's kind of a rubberized coating in there. And then we have the ball joint here. So that will go on the back of the phone mount. So we'll unscrew this. You may not need to take it off. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'll take it off. So I'll put the nut on the ball here. Press it on. And then I'll tighten this down. So you'd put this on your vent and then get it to the position you want. So it could be horizontal or vertical. And then you would tighten this down and that would lock it in position. So pull that off. We can do the same here. Put the nut on there. Press it together. Thread the knot on. So that's actually kind of upside down. It would be more like this. So this has an extendable arm, so I can loosen this screw here and then tighten it down. And then we have an adjustment here. So this has positive stops inside of it. So it's not relying solely on a friction fit. So you can kind of feel it's almost ratchety or gear like. So you take this, you would put it on a surface and you would lock it down with the suction cup. And then you can move this arm here, lock it down and move this one and lock it down. So you could stick this to your desk or your nightstand. So this does have a sort of sticky adhesive on it. So this utilizes that sticky adhesive to give you a really good seal. And then it has a vacuum also. So between the two, it makes it very secure. So you may want to put this on a surface that's not smooth enough for a suction cup. And it does come with this plate. Now this would be a more permanent adhesive. So once you attach this to something, it may not come off easily, if at all. So this you could attach to say your dash or desk or some surface, and then you would suction cup your phone to that. I'm going to switch back to the vent mount. So we have rubber on the back of the phone mount. We have rubber on the side. It has little fingers on it to help grip. And then there's rubber on the bottom. So these are going to clamp against your phone. And then when you want to release, you'll press these buttons, either one or both. It's easiest just to grip both like that. Then this will also come down. So that you just move down. There's nothing that locks it, but it should stay in place. So I'm going to try some different phones here. Now these are all iPhones, but this will work with Android too, obviously. So this is an iPhone 5. So this is a small phone. So that goes in there. So let's see if I can tighten it a little bit more. Okay. So this phone is narrower than the phone holder itself, but these do recess in. So if I do it about like that, I can kind of slide this out, but that's probably secure enough for most people's cars. Even if you're bouncing this around, it's not going to come out. So that shouldn't be a problem. There's also no case on this. A case would actually give it a little bit more grip and a little bit more bulk. Next is an iPhone 6. So this is a taller phone, so I can press down on this to make it a little bit lower. This also does not have a case. You can see it there. This is an iPhone 13 mini. Put that in here. Now that's more secure. That has a case on it. So that's really in there. Here's iPhone 12. And this is 13 Pro Max. So while the phone is in here, clamp that down. If you look at the bottom here, there's plenty of room to plug in a charging cable, the correct end of a charging cable. So there we go. So you can have your charging cable connected. You can set it right in there, lock it in. You can still charge this. So I wanted to demonstrate this on my bench here because I have better lighting here. But now let's take it out to the car and see what it looks like installed. Okay, so I'm in my 2016 Subaru Outback. I have my vent here. I have the vent clip. I can place that on there. I can click it. So that seems very secure. 
Looks like I can click it even one more. That's very tight. I see no reason to like clamp that down even more than that. That's very tight right there. So I'll place the nut on there, clip on the phone mount. I'm going to set my camera down to get this tightened. Okay, so I have that tightened down. I didn't tighten it super tight because I want to demonstrate this. So I can set the phone in there. There we go. Loosen this up a little. And I can turn it horizontal like so. And then you would tighten that down. So this might be good for regular usage. This might be good if you use navigation a lot. So I've tightened that down so we can press the side buttons to take it out. We can set it in here, clamp it in place. So let's check out the other mount. Okay, so here's the suction cup mount. So we could mount that on top of the dash here. You could mount it on your windshield. Now, you want to make sure you follow all laws if you mount it on a windshield to make sure it's not blocking your view. Now on a car like mine, I do have this little side window, so I could potentially mount that over here. Now you'd want to be careful when you open the door because it's holding this weight here and this could swing off. Now this is very secure, but depends on how careful you are with your door. You just wouldn't want your phone to fall to the ground. So I think I'll attach it here. Now one thing you want to be careful of is we have this big area over here there could be an airbag under here. I don't know exactly where it is on this car, but you wouldn't want to mount it where an airbag would be. So I'll peel off this protective layer. I'll stick it on the dash here, and then I'll lock it down, like so. So now I'll position this. I'm going to set the camera down for this. Okay, so I have this bar flat here. Of course, I could raise this up, and I could slide this forward, but this is where I want it. Take the phone, set it in there, clamp it down. That's very secure. Of course, I can also mount that horizontally. So that's the sync wire, car phone, suction cup, and vent mount. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.